Hey everybody, it's Mark from Five Angels Outdoor. Just wanted to catch you up. It's uh, morning of day two. Yesterday we spent day one uh, finishing up our uh, travel to get to AEV's headquarters in Wixom for their uh, 2022 open house. I tell you, we had an awesome time. Uh, you know, we saw all kinds of rigs and met a lot of people. It was great talking to everyone and getting you know, just seeing what there is going on behind the scenes and, and everything like that. But, uh, you know, we finished up over there and then we made our way to Walnut Grove Family Campground at the Lower Huron Metro Park. So it's, yeah, you know, Southeastern Michigan has a string of different metro parks. And uh, this one's nice. This campground is nice. There are nice, clean, awesome bathrooms. Um, there is no electric hookup or water at each site, but uh, but no, it's a it's a great, clean, nice campground right on the Huron River. Uh, there's walking trails, bike trails, playgrounds. I mean, all kinds of stuff. So it's really cool place. But uh, we camped here. Uh, I'm getting everything cleaned up, and then we're gonna get in the uh, in the bison, and we're gonna head up north. So we're gonna start off in the Mancelona, Kalkaska area. Uh, and then really from there, it's Manistee uh, National Forest. So we want to be able to hit some trails. I know in the Kalkaska area, you know, there is the Kalkaska OHV trail. So we'll start on that. But our ultimate goal is to head down the Manistee and, and hit that National Forest. I've mapped a bunch of trails out on Gaia. So we'll have to see how that goes. But, but yeah, I mean, really from here on out, we're uh, starting our journey. This is a first... Uh, first foray into Michigan and the type of trails it has so we look forward and uh, we'll keep you posted thanks for watching the uh, AEV facility is awesome so after we checked in we came in through the lobby and I mean, they hit you right off the bat with some awesome vehicles. Here's a retro Wrangler four-door, looking like old school with the stripes and the white uh, rims. Uh, and then we were walking over here. Here's a really cool thing. It's, it's like half done, half raw. It's one of the original brute concept type vehicles that made AEV famous. So, uh, so yeah, it's like half finished on one side and half raw on the other, which was really cool. Uh, the lobby, the offices, bright, open, and looking good. Um, we then went back into the manufacturing facility. A couple of vehicles off to the right and uh, left. And then this is sort of what it looks like. They have the photo booth over there. They had tables set up for all the visitors. We had food and uh, and really it was a great setup as we walked across and got closer to the actually actual production facility we can see here all the different rigs that are in the process of or just completed and how they organize all the parts on their shelves I mean there's just a massive amount of not only workspace here but of warehouse space parts because not only are they doing all the work on the vehicles as they sit um, but they're shipping product around the world for people that order off their site so this facility is just nuts and then uh, we took a look in that photo booth we saw earlier here we have uh, a 392 AEV nice awesome color here I love this color the uh, 392 accent colors, the gold work perfect with this. Standard, all the AEV parts, front bumper, rear bumper, tire carrier, just all kinds of really cool stuff here. Um, I almost uh, swallowed my tongue looking at this price tag, <laughs> 108 grand for a AEV 392. Um, is it worth it? I would have to drive one and, and see, but people are out there, they're buying them. This is a, an awesome looking rig. And uh, 
I'm, I'm sure it's super capable. I was surprised that that little Baja Designs light was uh, hidden under there. But, uh, but yeah, this uh, vehicle is massive. And they even had some uh, vehicles up on some hoists. Um, this gave the opportunity to sort of walk under a vehicle. They had a Jeep uh, showing all the different skid plates and all the uh, boron steel components that they have, the hardening from underneath, you know, to handle all those rocks and everything. Um, but yeah, they had, a, had the Jeep uh, and then they also had a, a Dodge, but uh, man, these uh, vehicles are sweet. Right here we had a red, white, and blue AEV Prospector. I mean, these things were huge. Um, down the row from them, it looks like we had a bunch of AEV upfitted police vehicles. So we have a Ram here and then a bunch of Jeeps. These are local police stations, uh, police forces that uh, drive and use these vehicles, whether it's for promotional or um, on duty type stuff. I don't know, but, uh, but cool little rigs nonetheless. And, uh, and then we just continue to walk around. Uh, you know, they had a 4XE, the Gladiator, I mean, they're doing any vehicle of, uh, you know, Jeep over here. And a couple more 392s. This white one's nice. I like that gray one in the photo booth a little better. Uh, here's, a, here's another gray one. Uh, most of these are outgoing or sold. Some are not. It's just a matter of keeping up with uh, the site and how they post their finished products. A lot of times they'll post that something is coming available at a dealer if they are uh, doing it on spec for a specific dealer order. Hey, look, here's some familiar vehicles. We uh, were over in the Chevy section, got a couple Colorados here. I've seen this white one online in some videos and on some promo materials. This one's got the Go Fast Camper uh, installed on the top. so goes really well looks really nice um, and then this crazy green one this one they use in a lot of their promotional p materials this is a special green paint job that they did in person this color just looks so cool um, but yeah I mean the Colorado I mean it's just you know it's the mid-size it's gonna fit on the trails and then right next to it boom brand new Silverado ZR2 Bison. So this one's in white. This is not an upfit. This is pretty much what you'd be getting from the factory order through your dealer. Um, so they didn't have any cool goodies to show us as far as how they're going to upfit them and the extras they're going to do. So this is a production model. This is factory. But uh, just great all around looking video. You can tell the AEV touches inside and out, especially with the reinforcement and the armor. But this event was just so awesome. We had such a great time walking around and looking at these videos um, and vehicles and, and everything like that. So thanks for watching. I'll come back next year.